Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make the best roasted chicken. So in case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so we're going to begin by prepping our chicken. Here I already have my chicken all nice and clean. I removed all of the insides, so now we're just going to pat it dry. So we're going to be dry brining our chicken like that. You know, we make sure that our chicken is nice and flavorful all within the whole chicken and not just on the outer layer. So just make sure that you pat it dry all around. And I'm just going to remove the skin from the breast. Just be very careful and not to rip the skin. Okay, and once the chicken is ready, we're going to dry brine it with one tablespoon of coarse salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, and two teaspoons of lemon pepper. I'm just going to mix it all together. Okay, and I'm just going to lift the skin, add a little bit of my mixture. And I have a five pounder. Just rub it in, make sure that it gets fully coated. Okay, so sprinkle it all over the chicken, as well as the cavity. Okay, so once our chicken is nicely coated with our seasoning, we're going to place it in the refrigerator and allow it to chill overnight or for at least four hours. Okay, so mine has been chilling overnight, so now we are ready. Okay, so once we get our chicken out of the refrigerator, we're going to allow it to come to room temperature. Okay, so once our chicken cuts to room temperature, now we are ready to make our garlic paste. So in our moncajete, we're going to add one jalapeno or chile serrano, five garlic cloves, and we're going to begin to smash them down. Okay, so once we have our paste, we're going to add five allspice berries, two teaspoons of coriander seeds, and one teaspoon of peppercorn. And now we're just going to crush them. Okay, so once our spices look like this, they're nice and crushed. Now we're going to add one spring of thyme. Just break it apart. Along with one spring of oregano. and one spring of rosemary. Or you can use one teaspoon of each if you're using dry spices. And now we're just going to crush it down as well. Okay, to our mixture, we're going to squeeze half of a lemon. We're going to add about one tablespoon of tomato paste. two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and two teaspoons of onion powder. And along with that, we're going to add 10 tablespoons of melted butter. You can mix it in your mocajete or mix it in a bowl. So just mix it all. Okay, so once we have our mixture, now we are ready to rub it on our chicken. Okay, but before we do that, we're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Now we're just going to pat dry our chicken one last time. Okay, so now we're going to stuff our chicken. I'm going to be adding some lemon. So lemon wedges, half of an onion, and garlic cloves. Along with some fresh herbs. Okay, so after we stuff our chicken, we're going to add some of our paste under the skin. Just make sure that you rub it. Okay, so do it on both sides. Okay. 
And once we have that, now we can get ready to tie it. Okay, so we're going to grab a large piece of twine. Make sure that you set it in the center. We're going to grab our chicken and make sure that you secure the twine in the center of the chicken. Now we're going to pass it through the front of the chicken and we're going to crisscross it. Make sure that the skin is tucked in. So like that, you're gonna tie the chicken like that. Okay, now we're going to grab, make sure that the uh, wings are in. Secure it. Pass it forward, secure the crown of the breast. We're going to go under the legs and then wrap the twine to go around it like that. Do the same to the other side. Okay, we're going to pull it. Like that, the legs can be nice and tight. And now we're going to flip the chicken over. Okay, and we're going to tie it. So tie it a couple times. Just like that. Okay, and once it's ready, now we are ready to rub it with the rest of our butter. Okay, so grab your butter and just rub it all over the chicken. Make sure that you get the back as well. And the creases. And I'm just going to dress a little olive oil so it can get nice and crispy. Okay, and once it's ready, we can transfer it to a roasting pan. Okay, to my roasting pan, I'm going to add some carrots and potatoes. I'm just going to drizzle some garlic salt. Along with a little bit of salt and black pepper. We're going to drizzle some olive oil. And I'm going to add some chicken broth. Place my roasting rack on top, just like that. Now we're going to get our chicken, place it on top. Okay, so now we're going to place them in the oven and bake for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. All right guys, so after 15 minutes, we're going to reduce the heat to 350 degrees. And now we're just going to allow it to continue cooking between an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. Okay guys, so after one hour and 15 minutes, check your chicken and make sure that it reads at 160. Um, once it reaches its temperature, we're going to allow it to chill for about 20 minutes. Alrighty guys, and after 20 minutes, you can get ready to plate it and serve. Of course, just cut into it however you want. Just going to grab a piece of the breast. And that's how you roast a juicy and flavorful chicken. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's honestly super easy and perfect. You know, if you're not a big fan of turkey, you can give this recipe a try. It takes, it takes less time and honestly, seriously, the best. The chicken is super flavorful, so juicy, it's just perfect. So hope you give it a try. Cheers and enjoy. So good. You get the flavor of all the spices, the lemon, everything in that one bite. It's so, so good, so flavorful, honestly. The potatoes, of course, and the vegetables, that's just extra, but just like this, so good. You know, like the like I said, all the flavor, it's inside the meat as well. It's not spicy. You can taste all the herbs, the lemon, the pepper. It's so good, so good. And the best part is not dry. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how to make a super easy and delicious roasted chicken. 
I hope you guys are enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family and if you ever cook this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!